Welcome to day one of Edinburgh! Absolutely stunning. Almost there. Definitely start here and then get beer. We're thinking, God, it's a bit bougie for lunch. It's a whale. There's no such thing as too much fish and chips, Abby. It's like an amazing view of Edinburgh Castle. Just walk forward. Just walk forward. Oh my God, that actually really <laughs> fully got me. Is this speaking to you? Yeah. Hello, we're just in front of the castle. Yeah. What's the shit in the toilet when we arrive? Hello and welcome back to another video. We are here in Edinburgh. Hopefully this is a famous waterfall, if not... It is outside not of Not waterfall. A water fountain outside of the Edinburgh castle. So we've come here for a long weekend away. We've never been before. No, I've never been here. Well, I have back way back when I was younger, so not as an adult at all. So we've come for a full sightseeing long weekend Got away. Got three days here, which is going to be really good. So this is day one of our Edinburgh vlog. So today's plan is just to get an overview of the city, you know, proper sightseeing, walking around. Yeah, we've got stuff planned for the other two days. We might go to the dungeon. Yeah, in a bit. later on. The first port of call is going to Colton Hill, which gives panoramic views over the whole city so you get to view kind of everywhere that you're going to be for the rest of the weekend so we're going to head there first and have a look from a height at all of the amazing it's things we're going to do. has got loads of monuments there and yeah. as you can tell by Abby's yeah. tear she's not crying out of sadness it's that cold today. Yeah we can't believe it. It's, it it's was... like minus one walking around but we need to just man up and, and get over it. We do it was snowing in the car which is quite exciting because it makes yeah. you feel proper up north. We had a long journey here, but we're so excited, aren't we? Let's go. So we're going to go up to Colton Hill, port number one of the trip. Let's go. So in typical Abby and Gaz fashion, the first port of call we had was the old Weatherspoons for a drink. <laughs> yeah, we thought we'd try the local Scottish, oh, football. <laughs> Oh, bless him. Oh. We've tried the really local establishment, so we went to a place called Weatherspoon, yeah. which if you don't know, I love. <laughs> <laughs> we knew that. So we popped there, and now we're walking through Princess Street Gardens, which is where we started the vlog. It's outside of, it's pretty much in the centre of town. You can see it behind us. And right outside, Ed outside Edinburgh Castle, which we'll probably be seeing on day two of our vlog. <laughs> monument in Edinburgh. We don't know much about it but it's very pretty. Yeah it looks pretty cool doesn't it? Yeah. First impressions of Edinburgh absolutely stunning. I mean you read it online but walking around it's like picturesque everywhere. All I'm doing is taking photos. <laughs> <laughs> taking another photo. Right, so we're just at the bottom of the monument. Um, About to it, take the stairs up now. Yeah, it was what, was it only 10 minutes outside of Princess Street? Just walking down. Yeah, it, and it's actually a really cool walk. Walks, walk. you, walks you past the National Gallery, the National Museum, loads of bars and restaurants. So it was a nice walk, wasn't it? Yeah, you could do a little bar hop on the way here, but. Bar hop, we wouldn't make it up the steps if we'd done a bar hop. Yeah, that's true. But anyway, let's head let's, to the steps. Let's crack up. Almost there. Oh. <sighs> okay, so we have just reached the top of Colton Hill. It's got really, really good views of like the whole city. So you've got the Edinburgh Castle, you've got the other side, and then also you can see where we're gonna go on Sunday, which looks really cool. Arthur's Seat. We're going to Arthur's Seat, which is like an old volcano. So it's definitely, definitely worth coming up here, isn't it? Yeah, a lot of people come up here to watch the sun rise or sunset. But obviously we've just chosen to come in the middle of the day. So there are three main monuments up on Colton Hill. Yeah, we know the history of them. So they're called Monument 1, 2 no. and 3. No, there's this National Scottish Monument, which a fun fact is it never got finished. So people Typical do... Typical Scotland. So like... people say it's a disgrace. <laughs> but actually a lot of people just go and climb up on it. I think it's still really pretty. Yeah, well... if by pretty you mean a derelict ruins. Excuse me. It looks me. like they're 
figgy in Athens, doesn't it? It does look very, it does look very Rome-esque, doesn't it? But anyway, we're gonna go have a look at the monuments. But yeah, the main thing is we're just the taking thing, in, yeah, the taking main in the thing sites. is the views, isn't it? Yeah, just checking out the city from above. Great place to start your adventure in Edinburgh, I think. Yeah, definitely start here and then get beer. <laughs> that did Wise words right. of gas. <laughs> Okay, that was a nice little hour up the top, get yeah. you bare into the city. And a free activity, you can't go wrong yeah. with a free activity. A little bit of freeness. Anyway, heading it back in now, we're gonna get some really nice food and a couple of drinks. Check out the cuisine here in Edinburgh. Check out the local cuisine and the local beers. I've made a little map on Google of all the points of like places to I eat. I think so you hopefully... can share that with people. Yeah, I think it will actually. Uh, yeah, you I'll can drop share it. it as like your food map. Yeah. I've got that and attractions map, so I'll put it in the For description below. For a small below. fee of eight ninety nine. <laughs> no, <laughs> but I'll put it in the description below. So we've just arrived at Bertie's Fish and Chip Shop and the reason why we've come here is it does gluten-free fish and chips but it's like basically like a stylish, nice fish and chip shop just off the Royal Mile. So we're gonna it's get- It's proper snazzy, isn't it? Yeah, it is actually really snazzy. We're thinking, God, it's a bit bougie for lunch but we're absolutely starving after the long drive. Got a beer, got a wine. Yeah, got a wine, got a beer. Gonna have a massive help in the fish and chips and then we're gonna go down and explore the Royal, Royal Mile. We've got a glimpse of it on the way here and it already looks so grand, doesn't it, Gaz? It looks sick, yeah. So we're gonna go have a little mooch there afterwards, but first, time to get some nice food. Some fish Cheers and cheese. Cheers <laughs> Cheers. I almost just tip my beer all over you. Yeah. <laughs> Look at the size of that man. Absolutely massive. It's a whale. What? <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely stuffed after that. Almost a little bit too much in a carb coma, so we've had to get a coffee. <laughs> There's no such thing as too much fish and chips, Abby. I don't know, I feel very, very full. But anyway, we're gonna leave the Royal Mile to tomorrow because we're gonna to go to Edinburgh Castle. So and we're we thought... gonna do a whole video of this area. Yeah, we thought we'd like properly explore tomorrow as we're losing a bit of daylight now. But it does, it is really, really nice around there. Very it? pretty. But we think the next thing, we said every day we're gonna do one thing that we pay for and the rest free stuff. So the one thing we want to pay for today is called the Camera Obscura, which is the sixth best thing to do on TripAdvisor. And it's voted one of the best tourist attractions in the UK. Yeah. So according to their web website that they wrote anyway. There's over a hundred optical illusions and there's apparently a really good view over the Edinburgh Castle. So we're hoping we might be able to get it over sunset, but we'll see. It's gonna be really good. We're gonna check that out next, aren't we? On the Let's next do thing it. to do. Let's crack on. One thing that's really cool about Edinburgh is absolutely everywhere you go, you see the castle. Like, there's not one corner you turn and you don't see it in the backdrop. I've taken so many photos, I don't even know which one's the best one to put anywhere. It, but yeah, it's stunning. Like, it like it. overhangs the whole city, doesn't it? Yeah, everything's so grand. Like, it's actually mental. It's like Prague, but cold. <laughs> cold Prague. We are excited to see what this is about. I know, I'm not quite sure what to expect. Some illusions but probably. It seems popular, which is always good. Yeah, um, lots of people. Yeah, but let's, uh, I guess we'll have to, I don't really know what to say because I don't really know what we're doing. Yeah. <laughs> but we paid 20 quid to do it, but yeah. let's go. Spooky. No, it's pretty, isn't it? 
optical illusion. It's just a light, but it's a mirror, isn't it? So it's two mirrors and lights. Yeah. And that's how they're doing it. Scientist Abby. Clever. Thanks, yeah. Abby, for that. Ruining the Science. illusions. Yeah. <laughs> they're spying on people. Yeah. Dad, in what direction is the floor? All right, we've just done the three floors on the way up. So I think you go work your way up a few floors and then down a few floors, don't you? Yeah, but I think the best bit, it does say online as well, one of the best bits is this rooftop because you get an like, amazing view of Edinburgh Castle behind you. Well, it's like 360, isn't it? So you get all Panoramic the way Panoramic views of the whole city, but this is the only place that you can get like such a good view of the castle as well. Yeah, yeah, it's sick. So it's stunning. It is very fun, although very kids orientated, I'd say, wouldn't you? Yeah, full review pending. Some I amazing mean, yeah, views. it's good. I'm enjoying it. Some amazing views though. Let's check them out. The views are the best. <laughs> so we're just heading back to our hotel now what did you think of the camera obscura place gareth yeah not the most cultured thing to do in edinburgh on the um royal mile but it was good. I, I, I thought it was all right. There were yeah. some really good parts of it, Abby, I think. I'd say Abby was, thought it was like an 8 out of 10. Yeah. I thought it was like a 7 out of 10. I think if you but have kids, you, that would definitely be a great thing to I do don't, well. I don't regret not doing it. And we're going to do a lot more of the historic things and Scottish things tomorrow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But it was a good, good hour and a half, I think. Yeah, it was good fun. But we're just in front of the castle now. Everywhere you are, you're in front of the <laughs> castle here. We're like, hello, we're just in front of the castle. Yeah, but now we're just walking back to the hotel to check in. We yeah. haven't checked in yet, it's so we'll see. It's getting a bit dark. Dark, isn't it? Yeah, we'll do the night, the change from day to night. And but... we'll show you a, a tour of our five star luxury accommodation <laughs> we've booked. All right, we are officially checked into this glorious. Some pure luxury I've treated you to. No, this is possibly the worst hotel I've ever stayed in, ever. It's not that bad. It's disgusting. However, there wasn't shit in the toilet when we arrived. When we arrived, I put up the toilet seat and there was, <laughs> it was disgusting. But the background story to this is Gaz's Nan bought us one of those like buy a gift things that it's you can like get. A, you can either go away in the country for like one night 
or you could come in go to, you could go to like a cheaper one for two nights in the city yeah so we've used that so it's completely free yeah i'm happy yeah, yeah. We're, we're we're not fussy at all to be no. honest like it's just a bed to sleep in it's not we're not here to chill out so yeah, we'll give yeah. you a quick pano of the room it's an absolute bomb site yeah, now I but we will. maybe we'll show you tomorrow it's not even worth looking at yeah. but if anyone does want to stay in this lovely hotel is £41 a night. It's pretty cheap for Edinburgh, like, city centre. About half an hour yeah, walk from Edinburgh. Yeah, and can I just say, Castle. we're not snobs. We usually do stay in, like, a travel lodge or something. Yeah, 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 um, we don't care. So we do not have high standards, and even, I think, a shit in the toilet. When you arrive, pushes <laughs> the everyone to the limits. <sighs> but no, it's been a good first day, hasn't it? Yeah, so it has, far. it has, yeah. So we came back, chilled for a little bit, and now we're going to head out. We, we're definitely going to get some drink, and then we're going to see if we get hungry, what kind well, we of... We will get hungry at we, some point. We will do, yeah. But we haven't, we haven't got a plan, basically. Going to go out on the tune. Out the town. Out on the tune. Be we'll fun. update you in some way, at some point along yeah. the way. But we're going to head out now, show you what we get up to, see what the nightlife's like in Edinburgh. All right, good morning. Morning. Sorry we didn't sign off last night. Just had a bit of a food coma. We went to an Irish bar in the grass market for a couple of drinks, but then our stomachs got the better of us and, and we went pizza to- pizza was calling, wasn't it? Pizza was calling. We went to Mama's Pizzeria, which is like an independently run, family owned pizza restaurant, which is really nice, wasn't it? Yeah, it was nice. But, it was right in the middle of town, wasn't it? Yeah, and it was open till late as well. So I think it shut at 10, so we went at like nine o'clock. We... Yeah, proper like holiday eating. Eating like where Europeans, you're like, yeah. Where you're like on holiday and you like walk in somewhere at half nine. Yeah, so that was fun. I had some food and then just walked home at that point because we were absolutely shattered but anyway we're going to start the next vlog now but if you liked this one then give us a thumbs up and hit the subscribe button and today we're actually off to edinburgh castle so watch Snazzy. out for that next vlog right see ya cool bye